What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Overlords. Today we are doing Season 4, Episodes 10 and 11. Very excited, especially with the Gundam that appeared at the end of the last episode. So we got to find out how the Nazarix is going to deal with that. Hopefully you guys are excited as I am. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out that Patreon for the early access, full length, all that jazz of this show and every show on the channel I'm watching. Don't forget to subscribe, click that bell so you guys always know when I post streamers on the Dapper channel. Let's hop right into this Overlord Season 4, Episodes 10 and 11. The first one is called The Last King. Let's do it. So Ainz is going over the footage. Oh, it is a powered suit from Idrisil. It's literally like a fucking Gundam. Just as expected. Ainz expected this? <gasps> One of the three Adamantite teams in the kingdom. Really? <laughs> They are hilarious. <laughs> My man Xanag got the paperwork. We haven't seen Marquise, maybe I'm mistaken, but we haven't seen him since season three, right? Risking everything for one crazy ass battle. Alright, fat Kurapika, see you out here. Okay. See, now I still don't know what actual role Renner's going to play in this, knowing, you know, that she obviously works for the Nazarick and all that. What's their, the Blue Roses? I have all their names down. It's just been so long. Lachius, and then Tina, Tia, Evil Eye, Gagaran. Mr. Azuth, your relative? Another Adamantite group? kind of request buyers the drop of red and the blue rose that's what i'm saying this is gonna be crazy mr azuth i gotta write his name down There's so many names on the show he is super nervous for them meeting her her relative let me be honest this is so mr azuth is her uncle <laughs> i'm saying this is quite the thing we walked into You guys always been one of the ones that impressed me the most with the whole Yaudabao situation and, and falling in love with Momonga, you know? Hilarious. Ooh. Okay, Red Drop. Okay, they look kind of dope. So this is a different team. This team right here. We are here to scout you today. I thought they, they were members of the Red Drop with Azuth, but no. They're a completely separate squad. Okay, Slain Theocracy. Elite Heroic Unit. Oh, they were mentioned in the scripture as well, as well as the other two, right? The one we met in like season two or three? I were talking, one was talking about having, giving birth to the strongest babies out there in the world. That's what I said. Evil Eye is one of my favorites, honestly. The design, the look, everything about her. Obviously, these guys have no chance against the Nazarick, but I'm kind of hyped. I, I mean, we've seen the Nazarick against the Blue Rose themselves, you know? That's one thing about this show, though. It's very much like Hunter x Hunter to me. I'm not going to spoil anything in Hunter x Hunter, but it very much subverts your expectations, unlike a normal Isekai. Whereas in Isekai, they would be gathering this plan, and then it'd be kind of crazy. It would be something that... But in this show, they very much are willing... I don't know. They might subvert my expectations again, but this show is very much willing to make an entire scene 
dedicated to make people making a plan to deal with eyes only for eyes to be like that and everything non-existent you know so that's one thing i love about this show but with that being said i'm genuinely going into this plan thinking they're all gonna die but they could you know you never know this is interesting but the only reason i say that is uh we've seen entoma previously like she need him damn near killed all the blue roses by herself is that fucking xanek kind of looks kind of dope in that armor i won't lie shout out to my man being on the front lines look at Ainz's fucking reception this looks awesome with this fucking lightning undead horse this is such a beautiful background and scenery for this conversation. I mean, that wouldn't make quite the statement, so. Yeah, that is very, very true. It'll become a mythology and a legend, the re dice. Yeah, that was one of our original goals. Find them, see if there's any remnants of them out here. It is simple and complicated at the same time, so I get what he's saying. This is an interesting conversation that they're having, you know? And they've come to that conclusion. Like, he's like, cool, all my people will die for your people's happiness. Brain Unglaus. That's, I was wondering I've recognized that armor, and it, it is Gazef's. I'm surprised he even fucking fits in <laughs> Such an interesting conversation, I tell you. I mean, what other levity could you find in a situation like this? You know you're about to die. The drink was delicious. Thank you for your hospitality. Hope, hopefully you kill us gently. Yeah, that was at the village, right? Carne Village? With the goblin army? If I remember correctly? I could be remembering incorrectly. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have my issues with Fat Karapika, Xanak, but I kind of fuck with him. Uh, this constant showing of these two butterflies, I'm curious. He did genuinely try, though. I have to give it to Xanak. He tried his hardest. I know. Trust me, he won't even take that. I think he actually might be, uh, maybe if you pledge your allegiance to him, but he might be more mad that you guys cut off Xanax head, you know? He doesn't like disloyalty. Shouts out Xanax. <laughs> okay, fat Kurapika. This fucking thick ass neck. Come and take it, boy. Come on. <laughs> that was not what I was expecting from Xanax. Shouts out. They didn't cut off his head, did they? That's them. If Xanax goes out like this, oh! That's what I'm saying. I think he fucked with Xanax at the end there, at least. Comparable to your efforts, which is... Okay, I guess their plan worked. Oh, that's the green guy, right? Yeah. Sorry, you guys. Yep. Have have a good time. 
Yeah, I'm glad he's punishing them. He... He wants them punished for what they did to Xanak. Yeah, he's pissed now. <laughs> he's just like, literally, fuck it, you know. Damn. That's literally what I said. Their plan of bringing Xanax head would make them die in worse ways. This was not a good plan. All right, on to episode 11. This one is called Well-Prepared Traps. Damn. That man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If there's one person that needs to die, it's the king. Everyone else, I would be the same way. I'd be like, you guys get the fuck out of here. Save yourselves. Chapter 11. Well-prepared traps. Isn't he also one of the eight fingers? <laughs> yeah, you have no idea what she's been through. <laughs> she might as well be how much of a different person she is. <laughs> yeah. Wait till you undergo the same torture that she has. You'll be quite a different person my, as well, my friend. They're like, nope, nothing we could do. You're you're in this for the long haul, Coco Doll. You'll be one of us when you get out. <laughs> you'll be a you'll be a changed man like we are. Exactly, his baptism. That's horrible. He'll understand once he comes out, he'll be like, You guys, you guys were right. The Sorcerer King's amazing. Your Majesty, the Sorcerer King. Albedo's armor, even though I rarely, rarely get to see a Gundam Boy. Oh, the Gundam Boy was Mr. Azuth? Oh, good to know. But Albedo's armor is so fucking sweet. Not to kill him. No hesitation. We're starting off with a fucking elemental dragon. That looks sweet. It is literally chain dragon lightning. That's fire. All right, let's go, Miss Succubus. Now we know Gundam Boy, Mr. Azuth, is super fast. Man's got the blicky on him. Prime Minister Albedo. Technically, he's right, but... They stole one carriage of our food, and we said, we're, ki we're killing all you guys. What or who was that? So he had well-prepared traps is the title of this episode. Oh! Floating four types of weapons are so dope. They can isolate themselves from the world. <sighs> I'm curious. Is this going to be a fight Ions can easily win or... So why is he invested in this fight then? Cloak of Light? The World Barrier is not letting you out. Okay, quick dodge. His swords are nice, too. I love the look of them. It feels like I'm playing Elden Ring with just how many different designs of weapons there are, you know? This is the first time Ainz has been in a bad position except when he's fighting Shaltir. Oh, 
First time he's actually ever held one of his weapons. Okay, Pikachu down B. He tanked it, goes through it. I and they both are hitting each other tit for tat. This is crazy. Not the elemental skull. Okay, what is this, Black Clover? We got Undine. No intimidation. He's like, wait, I'm still talking. I'm explaining my thing. That, that sound of the glass was her breaking through the barrier. And now Ainz, or not Ainz, <laughs> Albedo is going full out. Unforgivable, literally. So this was like our first test fight. That's crazy. The world barrier. So what happened with Albedo and Mr. Azuth? That's quite that was quite the episode, quite the fight, and Mr. Azuth is still alive. Fucking Gundam man. It is. Okay, I was wondering why the voice sounded familiar, and I thought I had recognized this armor. Maybe I'm just I'm you guys know me. There's so many shows I'm watching, I'll be forgetting stuff sometimes. So this is Saw, the dragon, who was with Regreet during that one time where we was talking about the, the secret theocracy. People, the girl who was like, oh, this is my monger, Ainz, I want to have a kid with them, see how strong, you know, that whole episode, it was Saw and Rigrid, because we only saw saw that one time, right? And Rigrid was like, you might be, well, the strongest being in this universe, had you not done this, that, or the other, I forgot what she said, I need to go back and rewatch that scene. So the goal was for him to hold Albedo off while he dealt with Ainz, Momonga, and he could have, but Albedo came back. So Lachius' uncle has some connections. That is something to note. Player. NPC. Okay, video game terms. <laughs> Player. Strongest Dragon Lord is a crazy title. Many entities. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> My fake name. I just made it up. Hell yeah. Just help me remember it for next time. I ain't just gonna walk out of some random dude named Riku and just fucking kill him. Let me know any non-spoilery details about Saw and about their relationship. Maybe Azuth and Lachius and Azuth and Saw. Any non-spoiler that's not going to play something in the future, like any back, let me know. I'm fucking interested. I'm butthurt. I'm butthurt. Of course, Ainz wouldn't go himself. God damn. Damn. Talk about a little twist at the end there. I always get got by Pandora's actor every time. So, shouts out to Saw or Riku Aganea. Like I said, if you guys could tell me any non spoilery information about him, Azuth, Lachius, the Blue Roses, the Red Drops, the, the, the secret heroes of the slain theocracy, anything. And if you guys need to refresh my memory on, like I said, I'm, I'm lost on certain. Not lost, but you guys, there's, especially with a show like this, like. Look how many names. This is Overlord, guys. Look how many names I have already on this. Like, this is crazy. So if you guys could refresh my memory on anything I'm missing, I would appreciate you guys immensely. Overall, great fight. Great episodes, though. Very intrigued by the developments. Oh, my God. Is it weird that I'm somewhat butthurt that Xanak died? I, Loki fucked with Xanak. And now he's dead. R.I.P. 
and to the guys who killed them, they are going to live absolutely horrible lives and beg for death. And even when they do, it's going to be a slow death. And oh, damn, do they deserve it. Damn, damn, damn. Shouts out to Ainz, Albedo, Pandora's actor, everyone. You know, that was crazy. Shouts out Azuth, uh, Riku, or Saw. Shouts out Lachius, the rest of the Blue Roses. I am very excited to how this is going to... Is this only going to be 13 episodes? Yeah, one Overlord's always 13 episodes. So we only have two more episodes. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. Check out that Patreon for the full uncut version of these episodes, as well as early access and uncuts to the other shows I'm watching. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.